What up everybody, it's iPadBeatMaking.com here today. Gonna help get you started using Scalar 2 on iOS in conjunction with the MPC Live 2. You can obviously use this method with any MPC that has Bluetooth in order to connect your iPad wirelessly and get some of those incredible Scalar cords directly to your MPC without having to connect any wires and it's a pretty nice combination i gotta say i'm actually really liking scalar 2 on ios more than i like it on desktop i think it's way more useful for all kinds of different workflows not just workflows that are in ios itself but with all that said let's get started first we're going to start a project next we're going to go on to preferences and we're going to go on a bluetooth and we're going to make sure that our iPad is connected and next up we're gonna make sure that our MPC live is connected to the iPad and as you can see here it is so we are good to go all right so let's go into one of these nice new plugins let's go for let's say stage piano and let's test out reflection since that's the first one that's loaded there now on our iOS device we're gonna go into the settings here and then we are going to go Bluetooth MIDI and select the MPC live to Bluetooth as the output for the MIDI and we can just pick one of these patches here And you can see we're already able to capture some really cool vibes there. So we could um, make sure that our perform mode, we can set our, what our strumming is going to be. That's with no strumming. And then this is with strumming on and we can, let's say, slow down the strumming. And we've got a really cool vibe going doing that. So what I'm going to do now is actually record that in. But what I want to do to make sure that I'm getting kind of the, the real vibe, the essence of what Scalar is doing, I'm going to turn the timing correction off. And that way it just lays in unquantized. And then if I need to edit things, I can do that later. But let's start. And just like that, we've got a beautiful start to something, beautiful foundation, all thanks to Scalar and just picking a preset that easy. But we could take it a step further. We could see that we are an F Lydian if we look down here at the detected scales. So, you know, we might go, all right, let's go to track two. Let's add another plugin and let's go to fabric and maybe add a bell. But we'll go to pad perform and we will go to F Lydia mode. So basically you know that you're in key and you can go through the presets. Okay, so let's add that in. And I realized, you know what? I want quantizing back on because I think it'll fit better with quantizing for this particular uh, element. All right, now let's relay that. All right, so I think that's a pretty cool vibe. And then we can go ahead and add some drums.
and then we could take some elements from this kit here and then we could go ahead and do a program edit to it turn it into a key group Just added the 808s real quick with the key groups. Let's see what else we can do here. So that's how to use Scalar 2 on iPad with the MPC Live 2 wirelessly. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please be sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, sales, beats, reviews and more. And be sure to join the Discord to keep the conversation going. We've got a great community over there. I'll pin the link in the description and the comment section. And with all that said, sidepadbeatmaking.com. Peace.